Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to the absolutely stunning Dingle Peninsula. Now, I'm here in Kumanol Strand for sunrise and I've been joined by a few other photographers. So I've got Michael Shamelum, Matt Peter Everson, uh, Nigel Danson, and we're all here to see what we can get for sunrise. Now, in the distance here, there's a lot of cloud, a lot of haze, but in the east, there is no cloud. But the challenge is to try and find something that's going to be able to catch that light. Now, we decided to come down here because there's a number of different options. Uh, along the beach here, even behind me, you know, it's some really nice. And over here as well, you've got all these rocks. So, Maz and uh, Michael have just gone over there now. I'm going to follow them there and see what they're up to. And something interesting we passed along the way was the remains of a whale carcass, so the spine of a whale. Um, don't think it's going to be anything for uh, photos, but you never know because the water is coming in uh, and it could be interesting to see if we can get a shot from that. But that's what we're going to do today. Let's go. So right now, uh, the guys have gone up uh, to Dunmore Head. Down the beach was okay, but the tide was out. Um, not much really from a kind of a foreground interest right now. So with the clouds that are there on the western horizon and uh, clear skies in the east, I decided to come back up to a composition that I've shot many, many times before. And it is a very nice composition as far as I'm concerned. It has got to do with the devil's horns. And I've shot this during the day. I've shot it during uh, sunset. But what I haven't done is shot it during sunrise. And because we've got the clear skies on the east, I'm hopeful that I get nice light that comes and lights up the islands in the distance. And that should be a different shot anyway for one, but because I've got the waves with the tide being further out, the waves are still crashing in relation to that. So ideally I want clouds that have color, color on the islands, which is the blaskets, etc. I want to have waves crashing over the devil's horns. And then I want to have a seagull as well flying into the shot. So I'm not asking for much, but you know what? If you don't ask, you don't get, and I'm here. So I've got the best chance of getting that type of shot anyway, because I'm out and I'm here. I'm probably gonna wait around till after maybe sunrise and see what happens then. And then I'll possibly think about joining the guys um, up on Dunmore Head. We'll see how that is going, see what the conditions are like. Uh, you know, it'd be always good to have a look at it from their point of view as well and see what they think. And that's the thing that I'm excited about is to see the Dingle Peninsula through their eyes. So yeah, I'm gonna wait here now for the light and I'll check back in if and when the light arrives. at sunrise right now and I'm getting some color in the bit of cloud that's on the east and I'm starting to get a bit of color in the bank of cloud as well now that's out on the west. I've gone for a couple of different types of shots actually. I have uh, gone close up to the devil's horns. I'm now back out wide because I want to be able to frame the shot to get as much of that cloud that I can possibly get. And as the sun then as well will rise, the light then will hit the islands off as well. I have been lucky. I got everything that I was looking for so far, except for the color in the sky. So there was a bird just milling around here in front of me, managed to get that shot. And I think that has, has turned out nice. Now I'm going for a rather fast shutter speed as well. So I'm 
more or less underexposing the shot slightly to get that faster shutter speed. I could bump up my ISO, but I've got enough to be able to play around with that. It's not overly underexposed, but just want to make sure I keep those birds nice and sharp. Anything that's going to be a slower shutter speed, you're going to have movement to them as well now coming through it. But as you can possibly see, I don't know if you can or not, no you can't, uh, there are small traces of colour now coming into the high clouds that are there. And also now with these birds, I want to be quick so that I can catch these shots even as I'm shooting now. This, I'm taking these as well, the birds, because they're milling around now, they're starting out their day as well, so it's great. So yeah, give you a look at these now, we'll wait now and see what else happens next. Light now has come up and it actually is really nice it's hitting the basket more behind the devil's horns and it's giving a nice bit of separation as well because that's still quite dark now i'm going for a fast exposure as well because i want to be able to capture the waves as they crash in against those and the beauty then of doing that is that i can also capture some birds now looking at the sky above here the cloud that was there didn't really catch a small small bit of color but I do think that I'm still going to get some nice shots because as that light now will intensify, it's going to light that up in the distance a lot more. I'm confident that I'll get a good enough shot anyway. I might end up staying here. I don't know, I'm timed the idea of going up over uh, here um, to see the guys, but I don't know if I will or not yet. Um, I'm happy enough where I am and I want to see how the light will develop anyway as it is. But yeah, give me a look at this next one now and then we'll wait again and see how the morning develops. Now the sun is well and truly up and it is lighting up uh, the blaskets as much as I'm going to get any in relation to the nice light. Now something I've done actually, and I've shot here a number of times before, but while I was waiting I just moved along the wall and I found a different type of composition. So below here you have the devil's horns which are the two speak like this, but below that as well you have kind of like a, uh, supporting actors as such. But what I noticed is in my shots I wasn't getting any separation of that. I generally do it because the waves and the water level is higher, but I noticed I wasn't getting it. So I moved along here and I managed to separate those out. You know, I think it actually works well within the frame. Settings at the moment actually are still relatively fast, uh, 1 640th of a second, and that's enabled me to be able to freeze the water. I haven't actually done any half a second exposures. I might give that a go here now next and I might have a look and see how that turns out and then I might also do a longer exposure because with the light that's there in the background as well I think that could be nice also but yeah here's the new slightly adjusted composition and then I'm going to check back in after I get my half a second and then I'll go as well for a longer exposure.
Oh, the light has arrived now and it is lighting up the devil's horns here right at the very, very tip. And to bonus to that, the waves have even increased as well. So what's happening now is that the water is getting lit. The waves are much stronger and they're crashing into that and getting beautiful light in it. Even though it's harsh light right now, I'm, hap I'm happy because it's lighting up the subject and removing the darkness that I was dealing with earlier on. And that enables me to get a much, much faster shutter speed. I'm just watching here now, waiting to see, am I gonna get a nice big wave to come in to be able to grab that shot? I'm still on my second composition as well and I'm happy enough with that as well. So yeah, this is excellent. I don't think I'm gonna go up above now at this stage because the guys will be done I think pretty soon anyway. So there's no point in me taking that trek only to meet them as they're coming back. So I'm gonna stick here now and play this one out and see what other types of shots I can get. After that fantastic light show, now we've got clouds that are coming in on the west and it's kind of diffusing the light. The atmosphere is not really there within the image. It's still nice, by the way, because the wind, the wind is great, so it's driving in those waves, getting some nice shots as they break against the rocks as well. But that nice subtle light that I had pre-dawn, then at dawn, then after dawn, and then as the sun broke, the hill behind me is now gone. So I'm going to finish up this episode. Thank you very much as always for joining. Hope you enjoyed coming to this beautiful location. If it's your first time on the channel, I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, schlange folks.